Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. I'm here to do another part of my baby shower series. This involves um, the diaper cakes that I made. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I unfortunately came down with a cold over the weekend. And my shower is this weekend and I have to plug right through these next five days. But um, anyways, I were, you know, I've, I've been watching hundreds of videos on YouTube to get ideas and inspiration on um, different things <clears throat> and I had decided to make my diaper cake where the diaper is not rolled up but I'm gonna take it apart because I'm gonna kind of show you so where it's like this where it's um, still open I mean still folded but you know in its whole entirety and then you just use a circle mold either a cake pan or um, I just used for this top layer I just kind of did it freehand and in the middle this ladies really help this it's a whole um, tissue paper roll okay so this really helps and to keep your layers together and in most of the diaper cake videos they show you how to assemble it with using this uh, roll in the middle. So you see it goes down here. So this bottom layer, I use a top of a takeout, you know, those really big takeout where they put vegetables and uh, things like that. It's kind of plasticky. So I use the lid and that's what formed this base. So the same thing, I did all the diapers open. So I think it might take more diapers as maybe then rolling it I'm not sure and I didn't count I just filled it until I felt it was tight enough and it um, fit the cover and then th I tied it really tight there's a rubber band on the bottom and then I put the ribbon over it so that's really held in here tight and then I built the second one and I used another type of cover to make this one here it's been sitting like this for a long time so I think it's really molded into the, the tissue holder roll okay so that's how the second layer goes on and this is the last layer it goes on like this so what I did was I put ribbon two types of ribbon there is a organza or a wired glittery ribbon here and then I found this other spool with these um, pacifiers and safety pins on it so I put it there and then I used the ribbon to make a bow on here and then here is a pacifier it's just some some plastic decorations that I found and I put it on each layer now the top I'm not going to I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do but I am gonna do a reveal day these these diaper cakes I made three of them one big and two small they are gonna be in the center of my uh, candy bar slash dessert table and so I had decided to put these as a showcase on the dessert table and so this this will be right there it's gonna be lifted on wood and um, cement blocks um, my husband made a shelf for it so it'll sit right there in the middle of the table I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with the top um, my dessert slash candy bar is 12 feet by maybe 8 feet tall so it's pretty big and so I had made these rosettes tons of rosettes because I'm using it as part of my decor so I stuck three together kind of like this put it on a stick and I might be putting it here where, let me move my camera up a little, where it sits like this. And I'm going to decorate it with elephants. It's either that or I might put, um, I have a lot of elephant stuffed animals and toys. And so I might put it where an elephant sits on top here. I'm not sure yet. Okay, and then I'm going to push this cake on the side. And then I made two smaller cakes. Maybe I should just take this whole cake down. Okay, wait. Give me a second. 
my area is so congested there is no room and I'm still working on the baby shower decorations so I have really no place to film except this spot here on my table okay so here is the other two cakes that I made so I think I'm gonna have to find a little bit better stand for it um, right now see I made two of them okay so I think I'm going to well see right now it's on these cake um, cake what do you call these cake boards okay so I made the, in the same concept I made the three tier I made the two tier okay so I used this ribbon that I found at Target was it Target that I found these at no I think I found them at TJ Maxx or Ross's so I bought spools of this polka dot ribbon it's really pretty and I decided to wrap the two layers here um, they alternate colors blue on top blue on bottom teal on top teal on bottom I used my rosettes to decorate where the ends meet and I think I'm gonna put um, cutouts of elephants going around this band okay so the top is the same thing I'm not too sure yet what I'm gonna do with the tops here but if I do use the elephants on the big cake I might make these bouquets there um, I have a lot of socks and washcloths and so I'm gonna try to make a bouquet of them and I might sit them up here I'm just not sure yet what I'm gonna do but I will share it when I decide finally what I'm gonna do my ideas my mojo is starting to disappear <laughs> there's just so much things to do so okay so that's the diaper cakes so those are just to give you an idea of uh, the cakes and I did them in the same way I did not roll them I just you know uh, lay them like that. I felt that maybe my daughter-in-law my kids can go and take apart the cake Use the diapers and it's you know, not all curly and it's still kind of intact so With that said I also made some corsages for the My son my daughter-in-law and my grandson so I made these three so I'm gonna change the angle of my uh, camera right now I'm sorry <coughs> sorry okay so after watching these are all on YouTube so if you search for um, baby shark corsages or baby shark ties you're gonna find a whole f a slew of tutorials online so I'm, I'm not gonna do one but this is just a template I bought really stiff <clears throat> foam uh, what do you call this not foam but felt stiff felt and I got a template off of Pinterest and I cut it out and I made the shape of a tie so this is about how big is that So it's about nine inches <clears throat> so this is for my son the daddy so I just used the ribbons that I had in my stash and then I diagonally glued it I did this little um, hang thing and I this is a punch and a crepe paper rosette that I made and I'm just gonna put a pin in the back so they can wear it okay so that's for the daddy this is for my daughter-in-law so I made this one and I just used again the stiff um, felt then I used a rosette and then I just layered ribbon so these are just strips of ribbon these I just kind of um, folded it in half this is another crepe paper here this is a tool bowl. This is a punch out of the elephant, different punch out. And here are some streamers, the ribbon. 
and this one also measures about nine inches so it's about the same as the tie my daughter-in-law is a very petite girl so I didn't want to make something overwhelming um, so I just wanted to make it very very simple so that they can move around and yet you know it's kind of decorated on them so I made this one and this one and then last but not least I made this little one so this one is maybe about five and a half inches so this is for my grandson who is six so I made it the same to match uh, my son's one okay but on a smaller scale and it's just diagonally laying ribbon various ribbons and then I trimmed off the ends to sh so that it kept with the shape of the tie see and not every part of the felt is covered this is a white and it's kind of glittery so it really looks nice and then I just did this top with the ribbon and this mini rosette with an elephant and so he too will have a clip on the back um, one of those pins I'm gonna have to find them and glue them on okay the pin backs so those are my diaper cakes and my baby corsages and um, ties that I finished so this is another um, part of my baby shower and I will hopefully be back with more shares if I don't I will do a video of the day um, I know these next five days are gonna go really fast so thank you so much for following me thank you for supporting me in my baby series baby shower series for little peanut and we are all excited thank you so much and i will see you really soon god bless everyone bye